Ahoy friends! Welcome back to the adventures of Captain Jay and Tiki. Tiki's not with us again! Oh my goodness. Well, Tiki's not with us because we're back with our friends at Zoo Creatures and our good friend Ilana here who's going to show us all about some more different animals. So today we're going to learn about, uh, what was it called again? Amphibians. Amphibians, right. And uh, what is an amphibian? An amphibian is an animal that starts its life in the water and ends its life on land, typically. In one way or another it incorporates water and land as part of its life cycle. Excellent. Uh, some of the amphibians near us are probably frogs, right? Most likely? Frogs, salamanders, newts, toads are amphibians. Um, most of those animals start out as tadpoles in the water and then venture onto land as adults. Excellent. And if you want to see some of these firsthand, you can come into zoo creatures or maybe have them come to you and do a nice display or some kind of interact uh, interactive activity. So, you have some friends for us to meet today? I do, yeah. I have some toads and some frogs. This is so exciting. We love coming to zoo creatures because they have so many things to see. Oh, wow! This first little guy is a toad, and this is a smooth toad. These guys come from South America, and they eat bugs. Now, they got little thingies on the end of his toes. Is that is that for climbing? Yeah, they're not really suction cups like a lot of frogs will have, but he does have very strong fingers that he uses for climbing. They will sometimes find these toads in the tops of trees because they climb very, very well. Those big eyes and little red stripes around the side of his face. Yep. Now, what did you say? This was a toad? A toad, yes. A, a toad. smooth toad. A smooth-sided toad, as they're sometimes called. They're not very bumpy like a lot of toads are, but they are still technically toads. And toads uh, cause warts, right? No, no. Toads don't cause warts at all. Um, that is an old wives' tale. Pirate's tail. Oh, a pirate's tail, sure. <laughs> yeah, excellent. So perfectly, oh, semi-safe to uh, to handle if we see him out in the woods, maybe? Yes, yeah. If you find a toad in your backyard, feel free to pick him up. Just make sure your hands are clean before you touch any amphibian. Your hands, if you have any uh, hand sanitizer, lotion, anything like that on your hands and you touch them, they actually absorb through their skin, so you can put it on their skin and hurt them. So make sure before you touch any amphibian, your hands are clean. And then after you touch them, of course, wash your hands. Always wash your hands after touching any animal. We have a great uh, video about washing hands, me and Henry, we teach the kids. So you can watch that and check it out. Oh, wow. And what does this guy eat? He eats bugs, all different types of bugs. Just about anything he can fit in this big, giant mouth. I don't know if you guys can see, but he has a very wide mouth that opens really, really wide that he eats with. Super, super cute. You can see he's got his little ears right behind his eyes that look kind of like bullfrog ears. Wow, he is fantastic. And he's a pretty big toad, right? He's big, yeah. Not much bigger than that, do they? No, well, you want to see a bigger toad than this? I'd love to, yeah. We have an even bigger toad. This toad Whoa, is a little so bigger. Huge. Look at him. This is a tame toad. Cane toads originally come from South America, but sadly are becoming invasive all over the world. Look, look at my hand. This toad is much bigger than my hand. That is a massive toad. And this probably eats what? Small children and dogs? <laughs> not, not quite that big, but certainly anything he can fit in this big giant mouth. And that includes small animals as well as bugs. So he would definitely eat mice and things like and that. And now is he a swimmer or a climber? Or just land? He's more of a land dweller. These guys don't climb quite as much, but they do go in the water just like all amphibians do to lay their eggs. Excellent. Wow, he is impressive. He's got these big things on the side here. Those probably puff up pretty good, huh? These are his poison glands. Oh. So if I was a wild animal that was going to eat this toad, as soon as I bit him, I would get poison in my mouth and I wouldn't want to ever bite the toad again. Yeah. So right. these guys are poisonous. So, no licking toads, no. Uh, number one, um, and Always it's okay to hold them, and definitely wash your hands before and after. Excellent. Wow, look at him. He's got a big mouth there and everything, just hanging out. He's just saying hi to everybody. Want to see him stand up? Oh, look at him. Look how look at those big legs. this toad is. He steps right up, kind of like Tiki steps up, yeah. right under your head. That would perch right on my shoulder, go around places, that would be great. I think I'd be a, a toad shoulder person. Teach him how to say things. Does he sing? I've seen a movie once with a bunch of wizards where they sing. That is actually the type of toad that they use in that movie. Wow. They use cane toads in Harry Potter to, to make the toad choir. Um, they don't sing quite like that, but the males certainly will sing in the springtime and then during the ra rainy season. All right, what else do we have down here? All right, we have one more big amphibian to look at. 
then this last one is a pixie frog. And this is actually technically a frog, although the lines are a little blurred. Look at his little legs. They're a little stout and squishy. He looks very wet. These guys come from Africa. Um, they are those frogs that you see. You see them on the Discovery Channel a lot. They lay their eggs in little pools, and when the pools start to dry up, the boys will dig a channel for a new, a new place for the tadpoles to live. These frogs here spend most of their time out during the wet season, but as soon as it starts to dry out, they dig into the ground, and they make kind of like a cocoon down in the ground with mucus, and that's how they stay moist until the rainy season comes again. Um, so sometimes if you keep one of these as a pet, it'll disappear for a few months and then pop back up again. Wow. What and his belly looks pretty red or orange, right? Yeah, so he has a bright, look? pretty belly. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Handsome. He's a little chubby guy. He is a bit chubby, a little while, so is in Captain J, so that's fine. Excellent. Well, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for showing us. I had a lot of fun learning about amphibians, right? Yes, that's right. Well, hey, maybe we'll come back and uh, learn a little bit more next time. Yeah. All right, until then, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. Ahoy! Thanks for watching! If you like this video and you don't want to miss another one, hit the subscribe button below! And don't forget, Captain Jay's here every week on Wednesdays with a new episode for you. If you want more Captain Jay, check out my book, Captain Jay and the Misfit Crew. It's available online on Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and Wordery.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.